As a fisherman, I use the marine resource wisely so I can conserve our biodiversity, so I can fish for life. It's all about balance. I preserve biodiversity by the way that I farm. It takes care of my family. It's all about balance. I have enjoyed these seas all my life. I do my best to conserve our biodiversity because I want my children and my grandchildren to enjoy them as much as I do. It's all about balance. I'm a park ranger and my job is to properly manage our protected areas and conserve our biodiversity. It's all about balance. Youth, let's play a part in conserving our biodiversity and maintaining our natural resources. It's all about balance. For life, for livelihood, for the future of St. Kitts and Nevis, let's all conserve our biodiversity and use our natural resources wisely. It's all about balance. Just hours after passing the Freedom of Information Bill 2018, the Data Protection Bill 2018 was also passed on Friday, May 4th, to promote the protection of personal data processed by public and private bodies. Attorney General Vincent Byron noted that there are many challenges faced in the technological world, hence the importance of implementing such a bill. He said that it is important to adopt and adapt to the technological evolution, while at the same time maintaining the best principles that pertain to good governance and the rule of law. Madam Deputy Speaker, this type of legislation speaks volumes for our credibility, both nationally and internationally, and should go far in enhancing the ease of doing business within the Federation. Thirdly, Madam Deputy Speaker, the Data Protection Bill complements the objectives of the other related laws, such as the Electronic Transaction Bill, Transactions Bill, since A, it protects the individual's right to privacy, thus giving them greater confidence in the use of e-commerce and e-government. But opposition MPs expressed reservations about the legislation. MP Marcella Lybert said the government cannot be trusted with information as it has in the past released personal data of persons who worked for the government or done work on behalf of the government. This is just for talk. No one in this country, hardly anyone in this country, has any trust in this government. Hardly anybody. So how would they have any trust that their data would be protected, Ms. Madam Deputy Speaker? We have heard in this parliament, the member for number seven, and in particular, and others, speaking and calling names of persons who are national bank, right in this parliament, done that. So tell me, how is it that we, or the country, could trust that their data would be protected? Let me know. Because it all seems a fast to me. However, in defense of the bill, Senior Minister and Member of Parliament for Nevis 10, Vance Amory, chided MP Lybird. The Member for Number 2 made certain comments about information being leaked, so she claims, alleges, from this government side about individuals and other similar statements. I therefore want to ask Madam Deputy Speaker, if the Honorable Member for Number Two accepts what she said to be fact, why then is she or did she indicate that the effort of the government to bring a bill of this magnitude, of this import, to this parliament to govern and to change what she says is an aberration on the part of members on this government side and other persons. Why then was there such an aggravated objection? The Attorney General said the bill seeks to protect individuals by collecting their personal information and to follow certain policies and practices for sharing such information. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.